The best combination raw image processing application and photo management suite available today is Adobe Lightroom. If you want the most flexible, most full-featured and most capable digital image management application for your photos, then you should get Adobe Lightroom. However, the problem is that Adobe is only available under Adobe's expensive Creative Cloud suite at a price that most hobbyist photographers have trouble justifying, particularly since it's an ongoing subscription and not a one-off purchase. There has long been room in the market for a competitor to enter this software niche and deliver an image management suite for a reasonable one-off fee that the hobbyist photographer would consider fair. There have been many attempts and unfortunately in most instances they've come up short. The raw processing is usually excellent but they are found lacking on the image management side of the equation. So I eagerly anticipated the release of the latest version of ACDC Photo Studio and the possibility that someone might finally do a better job than Adobe. Spoiler alert, they get pretty damn close. The venerable ACDC suite first came out in 94, a full 13 years before the release of Lightroom, so it's not like they haven't had some time to work out the wrinkles. ACDC have done a better job than most other companies at competing fully with Adobe, but there's some key differences between this and Lightroom that unfortunately remain a deal breaker for me. My requirements are fairly specific though, and you may find that this software is the perfect addition to your photography workflow. So, Let's talk about all the good stuff first. Now, firstly, of course, this is a one-off purchase of $100 here in Australia and 70 bucks in the US. If you subscribe to Adobe's photography plan, which gets you Photoshop, Lightroom, and Lightroom Classic, then you'll pay 171 bucks for the first year alone. So for just over six months of fees to Adobe, you could own this software outright. And that's a pretty sizable advantage any way you look at it. And it's not like you're buying software from some startup that might drop off the face of the earth after a year. ACDC have been in this software sector since its very beginnings. Now, this is a streamlined bit of software that ran fast and smoothly on my two-year-old iMac. This appears to be mainly due to the use of a hierarchical database instead of a relational one as used in Lightroom. You can use it as a full-blown workflow suite, importing images directly off your SD card, copying them to an archive somewhere and tagging, categorizing and keywording them along the way. Alternatively, you can simply fire it up and point it at your photo archives and it will catalog them. There is even an import tool for Lightroom which will transfer your metadata including ratings and keywords. Unfortunately, it won't import your .xmp sidecar files from Lightroom, so you will lose any edits you've made to the raw file. I did a test save of metadata in Lightroom and it had no impact on the Photo Studio file at all, but it did grab the content, keyword, contact, and IPTC image metadata. Keywording and rating images in Photo Studio is fast and simple and can be automated if you want. The library view which sits under the manage tab shows you your thumbnails and you can also flick to the view tab which has a large image and film strip layout similar to Lightroom's develop module. One welcome addition to the software is the inclusion of a map, which is one of the key features I love using in Lightroom and use very regularly. It makes my life a shit sight easier. It's not as flexible as Lightroom's, but it does include stuff like reverse geoencode and the ability to drag a set of images onto a location on the map to add GPS data to those files. All things being equal, Photo Studio's digital asset management capabilities are amongst the best I've tried, but they are simply not in the same league as Lightroom and its SQLite database. The develop module is where you create all those non-destructive raw image edits. It includes a Pretty standard selection of tools that enable you to manipulate raw image data and a couple of fancy light and color tools that raise this software up a couple of levels. Edits are categorized into tune, detail, geometry and repair sliders and these can be applied globally or using brush, linear or radial masks. 
It all worked well, though I did find the equivalent tools here much less finessed and with a much larger range from none to maximum than the Lightroom equivalents. Now in terms of one-click functions such as presets, there is a color LUT tool that can load dot cube files and some basic built-in presets. You can also save your own presets, which is handy if you have a set of baseline tweaks you tend to apply to all of your images. It's a basic but well-rounded set of tools, sliders and features, but there was nothing in here that could in any way be considered innovative or unique. Now that's the good stuff, let's talk about a few negatives. And my first surprise on that front was that I couldn't actually edit any of my Fujifilm X-T4's RAW files. This is because the software only supports the uncompressed RAW format on all of Fujifilm's cameras which is unfortunate because I don't use the uncompressed format because it takes up more space and has no huge benefit to me in terms of quality. It's a bit of a shame, but in ACDC's defense, Lightroom sometimes does a less than spectacular job on rendering my X-T4's RAW files too. The latest version of Lightroom has some terrific new masking capabilities, including AI selections, but Photo Studio uses a more traditional linear or radial approach. It's a much more basic tool set, but it's possible to achieve similar results if you're prepared to finesse your masks. The software is also missing all of Lightroom's more advanced tools, such as Enhance HDR and Pano, and mean that you will need an external editor if you want to combine shots in some way. In terms of the library management, there is no stacking feature. This is something I use all the time in Lightroom, as I usually shoot bracketed images, and Lightroom automatically stacks those bundles of files into their own virtual folders, so you can get a better overview of all the images in that folder. You can select multiple images in Photo Studio and add them to a separate subfolder, but it's not a useful facility when you have several hundred images in your import. I guess the single biggest drawback with this software is that it feels a few generations behind Lightroom. All of the basics are in there, but there's none of the marquee tools that make my asset management and raw processing simpler and more effective. Stuff like being able to filter using the map, the just show visible filter, for instance, or the color profiles, the smart collections, the plugins, uh, the presets and the aforementioned HDR, Pano and Enhance tools. I was impressed by this latest version of Photo Studio and I suspect that for many photographers it will do everything they want and more. It's a polished application that feels Mac-like and I found it to be both fast and stable. If I had to plump for any DAM application apart from Lightroom, then this would certainly be it. The lack of a subscription will be very tempting to many people and it's an actively developed application that will only improve over time. Okay, that's it for this little review, guys. Are you stuck with Adobe like me or have you found something better? Let me know in the comments section below and if you like this content, consider subscribing for more of the same. Till next time, guys.